Sunday. I got my first coffee on the go. I never used to drink coffee first thing, but something changed during lockdown. I'm not quite sure what I've got on today, but I have got a list of things. So I'm just going to get my vlog up first and then I shall consult the list. I'm having a bit of breakfast in bed now, trying very hard not to get this on the covers while I'm filming. It's basically fruit salad and yogurt and almonds and that's it. I'm one of these people that struggles to eat first thing in the morning. I just don't fancy anything heavy so something really light and sweet and juicy like that is much easier I find than full-on cereal or anything. It's two o'clock in the afternoon. I don't know where today has gone. Well I do know I've been sitting here at my desk on my laptop. I've been trying to research countertop dishwashers. I just want a countertop one that does a half load so I can run it a couple of times a day and just keep my surfaces clear and not be spending all the time I'm spending washing up in my day. I wanna free my time up for other things, creative things. There's one on there that's under 200 pounds just and it has good like reviews, but I don't know if I can run it from my tap. Apparently, because it's a pandemic, I don't want to have a plumber in unless it's an absolute emergency because it's the pandemic, you know, I'm trying to do distancing and stuff like that. I want to just, get started immediately by just plugging it into the tap and putting the hose down the sink and you should be able to do it. That's part of the feature. You do have that option with the countertop ones, but my tap is not normal. It doesn't have a screw on it. Like apparently you're supposed to take the tip of it off and unscrew it and then expose a screw and in which case you could put an adapter on it. Well, mine doesn't seem to do that. It just seems to be solidly molded. And I don't know, does anybody know if you can buy an adapter that like snugly fits around a tap end that doesn't have a screw? It's just a, a cylinder, you know, a straight cylinder, very shiny and slippery looking. I don't know if anything's gonna grip on it. I'm so frustrated, it was just like, I wanted to just hit buy. I've been looking at reviews and websites and just going round and round in circles and getting really frustrated. So anyway. That's what I've been doing. I've also, and many apologies for this, I've got behind with my comments and I've been looking at somebody, a young person has asked me a home ed question and it's on one of my videos. And I don't know where it's gone. It was quite a few days ago. It was, it was one of these comments that needs a long considered answer. She was asking about um, switching to home ed halfway through Key Stage 4, uh, which I don't know anything about, but I wanted to have a think about it and give us some advice. So anyway, if that's you, do feel free to comment it again on a recent upload so I can find it. I, oh man, I've been trawling and trawling and I can't find it. It's, it's lost. So apologies if that's you. I'll have another look when I get some time later, but I just need to stop sitting at my computer now and uh, go and wash up without a dishwasher. <sighs> I've washed up again. I feel like Cinderella. This is the tap in question. You see it, uh, it's just this, it does have a little line, but I've tried to unscrew it and I'm pretty sure it's just molded and that's just for show. It has like the aerator. I don't know if I can film from underneath the top. I don't want it to get dripped on. There's like, you know, a little mesh. Just to aerate the water as it comes out. Izzy is again not hungry because she's got up hours after me, had her breakfast hours after me and is now not hungry. It's gonna be soup, which is microwaving at the moment, and crumpets, and that's it. Oh, and some cheese, probably. I'm having the rest of the Easter bunny crumpets. They remind me a bit of molars, actually. I'm gonna have a bit of Emmental with them, and the soup, vegetable soup. I feel like I'm getting back to my homeschooler days. I've just been printing out some maths for Izzy to do, so that she's just doing somewhere between 10 and 20 minutes a day on it, just at the moment, so I can sort out what she's supposed to be doing. It's all falling by the wayside a bit with the pandemic and the online teaching, so I've organised that. And I've also done a booklet for reference, which is all the printouts from her Zoom maths tutor session the other day. Also on the table <laughs> is this toy shop puzzle. I was doing that last night. I spent quite a while. I think I had a couple of hours on it last night. It's coming together. Look, you can see some little faces looming out now. I like things with lots and lots of detail. So this is a good one for that because there's lots and lots of detail. You know, you can pretty much identify most of the pieces by what they look like apart from the floor ones. And I've just got those at the side at the moment. I've seen you can actually buy from the workshop puzzle sorting boxes where you've got little compartments for all the different sort of, I don't know, floor, sky, tree or whatever, you know, and you're collecting up your bits of a certain type, but you don't need them, do you? Anything with compartments will do or just a load of old yogurt pots, you know. I do that sometimes put all the sky bits in a yogurt pot on the side and then wait to the end and then tip them out and just slot those in by shape. I'm going for a walk, but I've got news for you. I 
suddenly thought universal tap connector that was the keyword I was looking for rather than giving it specific dimensions I found one I know where to buy one I know where I can get to on foot to buy it it's a bit of a trek it might be somewhere more local but I'm going to go out and search for it tomorrow because I ordered the dishwasher and it should be here by Wednesday at the latest it's Sunday today ah <sighs> oh I hope I can get it working with my you know with the pipes and things that come with it just you know until I can get a plumber in to plumb it in properly because I don't know how to do it anyway I'm excited I am going for a walk now because I've spent too long sitting at my desk today just stupidly long I hate that I hate I feel like I've wasted the day if all I've done is sit at my desk there anyway that is all pretty much I have done so I'm gonna go out just a quickie I should be practicing my flute really, but I just need to do something that doesn't involve my brain. I'd like to go back and walk in that cemetery again, but it's just a bit too far to go on foot. And it'll probably start getting dark as well. I could scoot there, but I'm not going to. I'm out in the woods and I was just thinking about a comment I had on my last video or maybe the one before from the thrifty grandma who lives in Canada and she was saying that she's a little afraid to go for walks in her woods because there are bears and cougars oh my goodness I hadn't even realized that I take it for granted I'm not gonna get eaten by a wild animal when I go for a walk in my woods yeah I don't think I'm gonna get eaten I might get licked by somebody's pet dog or jumped up on but that's about it this is the first time I brought this camera out on a handheld tripod. Wanted to experiment, see if I could get the footage any more stable. I'm the sort of person that likes to yomp everywhere, you know. I don't, uh, I sort of vlog my life rather than uh, go out specifically to vlog usually. Uh, well, you know, for the most part. And I do tend to take these great big heavy steps, which then ends up with shockwaves ricocheting up my arm. <laughs> ricocheting whatever shockwaves do. And uh, making the camera jolty, you know. So let's see how this turns out. My GoPro camera has made it to the Netherlands. I can't remember if I told you or not, but it has. I had a phone call about it, so it's there. So I'm just waiting the next model to arrive to see if that's any better. And the other... Little news update is another non-update. Yeah, the other non-update is about the scholarship application. And it's a case of no news we haven't heard. They said they would try to decide on a shortlist for Friday and then let people know as soon as they could. And we hadn't heard anything by the close of play on Friday and I wouldn't expect to hear anything on Saturday or Sunday. So I think the soonest we'll hear anything is tomorrow. But I don't know. Now, you see, if I was them, I would let the successful applicants know first because the interviews are this coming week, starting, well, it says the week starting tomorrow. Uh, whether they actually start the interviews tomorrow, I don't know, or just sometime that week. But anyway, if I was them, I'd let the successful ones know first so they could prepare themselves and schedule in their interviews. They're all on Zoom anyway. But yeah, I wonder if they've let the successful ones know and they're going to let us the rest of us know tomorrow but let's see who knows I was watching a few videos last night they kept popping up on my recommendations you know what it's like on YouTube and uh, there were lots of sort of kids on there giving tips on how to get into their school or college whatever you want to call it and quite a few of them were not successful on their first attempt but they did get in the second year so let's see you never know maybe she can have another shot next year if she hasn't got in I've come to a flat a bit now. I've climbed up a great big steep hill through a woodland and, you know, all muddy and grabby on -y <laughs> and stuff. And I've just, yeah, got a mercifully flat tarmac bit now and I think I'm going to do lazy route like this all the way back. Car! <laughs> the weather's okay, as you can see. It's about five-ish at the moment. Dry, thankfully. I think we vloggers are all just saying how much we're looking forward to the summer this year <sighs> since everything is outdoors <laughs> it's stopping for a can of pop time Dana! Izzy didn't come Izzy 
quite often doesn't want to come for a walk these days because she's nearly 16. I'm sitting on the edge of a car park and everyone's staring at me. Oh, well, never mind. Luckily, I'm quite an extrovert. <laughs> I think I found that comment I lost, I think, because somebody else commented on the same old video as well with a very similar question. It might even be the same person. So I haven't published it. I've got it in my held for review box and I'll be able to find which video it is and hopefully find it because I've got like 700 videos or something on my channel now. So somebody comments on an old one and I publish it and then don't answer it quickly. It disappears from view. <laughs> anyway, right, I'm going to enjoy this and then walk back down the hill back home. I'm still here. It's a while later now. I've been scrolling through my phone looking at other people's pictures of outdoors from their walks on Facebook and thinking, hang on. I've come out of the house, surrounded by nature and beauty and birds and, you know, peacefulness and I'm looking at everybody else's. But, you know, it's because I want to hang out with my friends and I can't. So I've come out to have a drink with my friends <laughs> on social media. Yeah. Mm. Oh, another thought I was having earlier while I'm in a contemplative mood. Um, I'm feeling so grateful and excited about the dishwasher. But I realise that, you know, I've got nothing to complain about doing the washing up. Partly because there's only two of us and a lot of people have a lot more people's worth of washing up to do than that. But also a lot of people in the world don't even have a sink and running water. So you're in a pretty privileged position to be able to moan about doing the washing up. So for that, I am very grateful. I look like I'm praying and I'm not, it's just... My hands are just up in that position. That's a noisy bird up there. I'm back home and I'm making one of my concoctions. I have rice cooking over there in the microwave and this is going to have tofu in it, but I've just opened it up and my fridge likes to freeze things sometimes. Look, there's a block of ice in the tofu. That's really unhelpful. I'm not sure if you can freeze tofu, but apparently I partially have but I'm sure it'll be fine. <laughs> Izzy is having a big old mope because she just wants to know about the college application. Now, I've been thinking about where to put my dishwasher. It's gonna go here, probably facing this way. I haven't quite decided, but yeah, I think facing outwards. And the microwave is gonna go over here because honestly, the toasty maker can just go in the cupboard. We don't use it often. The active fry can go here where this box of coats is because that does not need to be there. The Cokes can go in there anyway, in the wine rack, because I don't buy wine. The rice is done to perfection. It's all light and fluffy and separate. Look, the way I do it is I just cover it with water and then some, like, so it's a bit, it's covered and I don't know, three quarters of a centimetre above the level of the top, something like that. I don't measure it. And then I put it in the microwave for about 15 minutes. I say about spot on 15 minutes. I've got a 700 watt microwave. And take it out, give it a stir, top it up a bit with a little bit more water if it's looking a bit dry and crispy on the top. Shove it back in for five minutes and then take it back out and then it's like this. It absorbs all the water. Usually it overflows a bit. It hasn't today. If I put too much water in in the first place it comes over the top. So I put it in a Pyrex dish just with a lid and that's my rice cooking method and it's, it always comes out nice. It never doesn't. I use just white basmati. These, by the way, I found out the price, they were one, about £1.84, something like that. They're George Home Cookware. There was another one that's been washed up because Isabel has been making biscuits today. But they've mysteriously disappeared. She must have the whole box up in her room. <laughs> but anyway, she was, yeah, pretty pleased with those cookie cutters. There's our jollop for this evening's dinner to have with the rice. It's completely vegan, actually, just not by design. It just doesn't happen to have any animal products in it. It's smelling rather nice. It's got some of that frozen ginger in, you know, that I bought from Iceland, and I really like it. I'm a convert. I might see if they've got any garlic in there as well and give that a try. Just makes it just that bit quicker, but the only thing I don't like about it, of course, is that it comes in plastic packaging. But when I buy fresh ginger, or fresh garlic after the time it comes in plastic anyway. Izzy and I are going to snuggle down on the sofa with our food and watch some TV together now. But if you've enjoyed today's video, do give it a like. It really helps the channel to grow and I so appreciate it. And if you're new here and you'd like to follow more of our lives here in South Wales, do hit that subscribe button and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye!